Hi everyone, my name is Miss Laura. I'm from the Lake Villa District Library and welcome back to another First Chapter Friday video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of our yellow dot books or a beginning chapter book and I'll read you the first chapter so you can kind of get a snippet of what this book is about. So this book is called The Miniature World of Marvin and James. It's written by Elise Broach and illustrated by Kelly Murphy and I'm going to read the first chapter today with permission from Macmillan. This is actually a series of books inspired by a middle grade chapter book called Masterpiece. So this has characters in it from that chapter book. Our main characters here are Marvin and James. So this is James here, the boy, and then this is Marvin, a beetle. <laughs> He's actually James's best friend. They love each other, but James is about to go spend the summer at camp and Marvin is a little worried he's gonna be left alone and he doesn't know what to do. So let's find out what happens. I'll show you some of the illustrations as I read the book because they're very cool. So we'll read the first chapter today. Chapter one, James says goodbye. Marvin is sad. James is going away. Just to the beach, James tells him. Mrs. Pompadour and William are going too. Only Mr. Pompadour will stay. Marvin does not like Mr. Pompadour. James says, I will be back in a week. That does not make Marvin feel better. A week is a long time. He will miss James. He rolls into a ball like this. <laughs> James leans close to Marvin. Don't be sad, little guy. When I come home, I'll bring you a surprise. Even that does not make Marvin feel better. What will he do without James? James is his best friend. You can help me pack, James says. He lifts his su suitcase onto his bed. Marvin does not want to help James pack, but at least it is something they can do together. James has a list of everything he needs to pack. He puts the list on his bed. Vacation list. One, socks. Two, underwear. Three, swimsuit. Four, pajamas. Five, shirts. Six, shorts. Seven, toothbrush. Eight, book. Now, when I say something, cross it off, James tells Marvin. He opens the bottle of ink on the desk. He puts the cap next to Marvin with a little ink in it. Marvin can't read, but he is good at crossing things off. He dips his front legs in the ink. One, says James, socks. He puts socks in the suitcase. Marvin draws a line through the first word on the list. Two, says James, underwear. He puts underwear in the suitcase. Marvin draws a line through the second word. Three, swimsuit. James puts his swimsuit in the suitcase. It has dragonflies on it. Marvin thinks it would look nicer with beetles. He draws a line through the third word on the list. Four, pajamas. James put his pajamas in the suitcase. Marvin draws a line through the fourth word. See, you were really helping, James tells him. This is half my list. Five shirts. He puts shirts in the suitcase. Oops, Marvin has no more ink in his legs. He dips them in the cap again. He draws a line through the fifth word on the list. Six shorts. My suitcase is almost full. James squeezes his shorts into the suitcase. Marvin draws a line through the sixth word on the list. Seven, toothbrush. I always forget my toothbrush, James tells Marvin. That's why I made a list in the first place. He puts his toothbrush in the suitcase. Marvin draws a line through the seventh word, toothbrush. See? He's a helpful little beetle. There is only one word left, eight, book. That's everything, says James. He takes a book from his shelf. Marvin draws a line through the last word on the list, book. There's no room, James said. He puts the book on the floor and moves things around in the suitcase. James, Mr. Pompadour calls. Are you ready? We can't be late for the plane. Coming, Mom, James says. He zips his suitcase shut. Uh-oh, the book is still on the floor. James will forget his book. Marvin runs over the list. All the words are crossed off. He taps his leg on number eight. James sees him. Good job, he says. You crossed off everything. Marvin keeps tapping. James puts on his shoes. Marvin runs around in circles. Don't worry, James says. I'll be back soon. Marvin runs to the cap of ink and dips his legs in it. 
James stands up. Time to go. Marvin run ba runs back to the paper and draws this. Look, he drew an arrow. Finally, James understands. Oh, he says, I forgot my book. He finds the book on the floor and puts it in his suitcase. Marvin sighs. Thanks, little guy. James smiles at Marvin. You are a big help. He pats Marvin's shell. Goodbye. See you in a week. Marvin lifts one leg and waves goodbye. He is still sad, but at least he helped James pack, and James did not forget his book. All right, that's the end of the first chapter. So the rest of this book tells you what Marvin does while James is gone. I will say there is an epic adventure inside of a pencil sharpener. Definitely with Reed. So if you want to know more, come on into the library and check out the miniature world of Marvin and James. And if you can see, this says right up here in tiny little letters, book one. That means there are more books in this series. So if you like it, there's more to read. Come on in. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.